Want to turn a simple image into a real functional 3D print? In this video, I'm going to show you how to take a simple image and transform it into a 3D printable model, just like this keychain. This is a great and simple way to show an image on a 3D print while still making something that you can use. I'll walk you through every step, including generating an image, making the 3D model, and importing it into Bamboo Labs and getting it printed. Now to get started, we need an image. You can use any image you want, but for this tutorial, I'm going to generate one using ChatGPT. I think I'm going to do something iconic like the Triforce symbol, but something with a unique twist on it. If you're planning to generate a model using ChatGPT, you want to ask for it to be a silhouette or some type of icon, because we want to keep it somewhat simple and have a high contrast so it's easy in the next step. So we're just going to wait for our image to load real quick here. And this turned out a bit more complex than I would typically go for, but we're just going to go with it. Next, you can either download the file or you can simply right click and copy the image. Next, we're going to turn this image into an SVG file. I'm going to use Inkscape. So use your preferred software or open Inkscape. Now you can take that image and paste it in here. Once you have the image in here, we're going to want to resize it. Position your image so the center is on the top left corner of the rectangle. When downsizing it, I like to use Control and Shift as it centers um, in a specific location and keeps that aspect ratio. So drag it over so we can start to center it as good as possible. And I line up the, the arrows on the, the right side and the bottom side with the, that line as closely as possible. You can hold the Alt key while you're uh, using the arrow keys to do uh, really small steps. Now we're going to want to go up top and go to Path and Trace Bitmap. It'll pop up on the right side of the screen. This is where we're going to define what our SVG is. There's a few different options. Um, you can do edge detection, brightness cutoff. Um, there's also color quantization. Um, I find that brightness cutoff works for most images and is the easiest. Um, you can blow it up here to get a better look at it. Then you have a bunch of these sliders up here. Um, this can kind of give you a better or worse image. Depending on the complexity of the image, there might be some areas where you can't get it perfect. Uh, you can see some of the bleed over uh, between the lines. It's also important to note that the image won't show up down here unless you have it selected in the view window on the left. So once you get your image looking clean in the way you like, you can click the apply button down in the bottom right. And you can see it actually creates a whole new uh, object in the view window for you. This other object is your SVG file. So now the last thing that we have to do is export. So you can go and file export. This will add a new tab to your right window. Be sure to set the file location and make sure that you set it to SVG as well. So we're going to go back over here and set this to either plain SVG or Inkscape SVG. Now you can set your location. I'm just going to throw it on my desktop. I'm not going to do anything special. I'm going to rename it uh, Triforce so I know what it is. It does say PNG there, but don't worry about that. It will save as an SVG when you click the export button. Now that we have our SVG, we can go do some cool stuff with it. So now there's a few options that we can do with the SVG file. Uh, the first one I'm going to show you is a simple way to print exactly what you have as an SVG. So you can open up Bamboo Labs and then go find your file. Now all you have to do is simply drag that into Bamboo Labs and you have a block which represents that, uh, that geometry that you have for your SVG. You can do some basic resizing, um, rotation, depth. If you have another piece of geometry or model in here, you can actually drag the SVG onto it. This allows you to use it as almost an embossing or engraving uh, type tool. You can also use 3D modeling software. This is Fusion 360. Um, we can import it in here and do a little bit more to it than we would be able to do in Bamboo Labs. So I'm gonna start out making a rectangle for our keychain. 
and just make it like 30 millimeters by 30 millimeters. I'm actually going to add a little circle up here so that we have a loop for our keychain to go through. I have a pair of calipers right here on my desk, but I'm just going to eyeball it and say two millimeters sounds sufficient here. So now we can just kind of throw something together quick as a good base to put our image on or our SVG. If you're interested in a tutorial on Fusion 360, uh, leave a comment below and it's something that I can do in the future. So now that we have a base for our image that we're somewhat happy with thrown together, um, we can go up to the top right, insert and select an SVG. We're going to go to our desktop and grab that same Triforce SVG and click on the surface we want it to be on. Usually it puts it in here uh, upside down, so you got to rotate it 180 degrees. And then you have this button here that you can use to scale. Once you get the image where you want, you can click the OK button and it leaves you with this trace on that surface that you selected. So now you can either go to the top left and click the extrude or press E to begin selecting the surfaces which you'd want to raise or lower into the keychain um, surface that you selected. Once you have all the surfaces selected, you can type in the amount you want to extrude it. In this case, I'm going to raise it half a millimeter. So you can see now we have a raised surface with those selected parts, which causes some issues with other parts of the model up here, which I can clean up. So now that we got the model cleaned up and everything looks better, we can go up here and file export. This will allow you to choose which type of model you want. I usually use step file, but a lot of people use STLs. You can use whatever works for your printing software. Select the location and don't forget to name the file. Once the file is exported, we'll have something that we can import into Bamboo Studio. Now once we open Bamboo Studio, you can either go File and Import or Open, or you can just drag and drop it in like we did before. Depending on the complexity of your model, it may take some time to load. You can see in the model where we had the uh, not defined lines, there's a little bit of extra material or kind of like a fuzziness inside there. I'm going to ignore that and see what happens. So now we need to paint our model, which with something this complex can really be kind of annoying to do. So I might take an easy approach rather than filling in each one of these lines individually. I think using yellow will be cool. Instead of clicking each individual spot and filling, I'm going to go to the layer height um, tool to paint by layer and just pick a number that kind of looks good to you. I'm gonna use 0.4. For this model, I am using a 0.2 millimeter nozzle and not the standard 0.4 millimeter. So I'm able to get a little bit more detail out of this. So hopefully this works out. I have one millimeter selected for the height range, but I don't think that's going to work. This is a very thin model. So I'll probably have to turn that down. Probably use 0 0.4. 0 0.4 sounds like a good, a good height. Now I'm just gonna throw some of these layer changes in here for fun. Hopefully it looks cool. Normally I'd take a little bit more time, uh, you know, making these look a little better, but for the sake of this video, um, I think it gets the point across. And From here, I think most of you probably know how to use your software, but you can slice the print, look some of the things over, make sure everything's gonna turn out okay on that top surface. Depending on your nozzle size, you might see um, some areas that it can't do. Now you're just going to click send and send it to your printer so it can begin printing. And there it is. 
the final 3D printed keychain straight from the image. This is such a cool way to design images into functional parts. If you enjoy this video, let me know by hitting the like button and subscribing for more 3D printed tutorials. I'm always looking for new ideas, so if there's a project you'd like to see next, drop a comment below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.